Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we are going to be adding some fish to our new indoor turtle pond. In the last video we set up this indoor turtle pond for my three pet turtles. You can see Toby, the pink belly side neck, right down there. Then we got Junior, the red-eared slider. And then we got Midas, our albino red-eared slider, right down there. And in that video I said that I think there's about 40 gallons of water in this pond. And at this point I feel like it's a little bit less, probably around 30. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking that is way too small for three turtles of this size. And I completely agree. I definitely want to get these three turtles into a bigger enclosure sooner than later and I'm thinking I'm gonna want to get some kind of bigger turtle tub maybe on this wall maybe in that corner not sure on the exact placement but I think it's gonna be at least a hundred gallon like stock tank one of those like big sturdy plastic tubs I'll have a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about but I think I want to get one of those for the adult turtles and then when we move them into there we could make this pond into a baby turtle pond there's a bunch of different baby turtles that I have always wanted like a soft shell a painted turtle maybe even a diamondback terrapin there's a bunch of stuff that I want and I'm probably gonna end up getting but before all that, of course, I do want to get all my fish tanks over here. And that actually all starts today with us adding fish to this turtle pond because we are going to be going over to the fish room, picking up a lot of the fish we have over there. We also are going to be buying some new fish for this pond. And you guys are probably wondering what kind of fish we're getting. We are going with all live bears for this turtle pond, being guppies, mollies, platies, sword tails, which are all awesome, super colorful fish that also breed very quickly. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But as far as the turtles eating the fish goes, I don't think they're really going to. All three of these turtles kind of grew up with fish. They never really went after fish swimming in the tank with them. So I think the fish will be able to live in peace in this tank. Of course, if the turtles pick one off every once in a while, it's not going to hurt anyone other than the fish they get. But yeah, along with putting fish in this pond, we're doing a couple other random things. We're actually going to be moving two of my fish into my outdoor pond, which I've been very excited about for a long time. And then we're also doing some other stuff down here in the new fish room. But now I think I've done enough talking. We're just going to head on over to the old fish room and pick up some fish. All right, guys. So we are over here in the old fish room. And what we're going to be doing here is move these two fish right here this goldfish and this one-eyed koi fish into my outdoor koi pond. I think I've said it in an older video, but this 55 gallon tank is going to be my new flower horn tank. It was currently in that 40 gallon. So we need to get all these fish into new homes. So for the koi and goldfish, they're going in the pond, like I said. And then all these Buenos Aires tetras are gonna go in the 125 once we get that moved over. All those big fish will be in the pool pond, of course. And then there is one platy right there, and he is gonna be coming home with us today, and he'll be going in the turtle pond, and we'll hopefully be picking him up a bunch of platy buddies at the store. And then along with that platy we are going to be bringing this whole school of guppies down here in this guppy breeding tank they will also be going in the turtle pond and they're just going to breed like crazy once they get in there because that tank is also heated and higher temperatures make these guys breed a little faster and yeah with that being said the first thing we're going to do is catch the koi and goldfish out of the 55 and bring them outside to the pond well i forgot my tripod back at the house so i've got you guys sitting on the 125 we are currently siphoning some water out of this tank into a bucket and then we're going to catch these guys out of this tank got the goldfish that was relatively easy, and I think it's going to be easy to catch our one-eyed koi fish. I'll just attack him from the left side. Got him. <laughs> he swam right into it. And now we're going to take these two fish outside and start acclimating them to the pond. And to do that, we're going to get a scoop of pond water, dump it on into their bucket every couple minutes. And then here in about 15, 20 minutes, they'll be ready to go into this pond. So I'll see you then. Alrighty guys, so it's actually been closer to 30 or 40 minutes. I've been really taking my time acclimating these guys because it is a little chilly out here. It's not like cold cold by any means, but I definitely want to play it safe with these guys. But they are now ready to go into this pond. So we're just going to take our bucket, set it right down in the water, and release them into their new home. There goes Willie, the one-eyed koi, and here comes the goldfish. And yeah, I think it's been a while since you guys have even seen this pond. Pretty much all summer I was having problems with it being like green. The water wasn't very clear most of the year. But at some point, like a month or two ago, this pond completely cleared itself up i literally didn't do anything to it it just cleared up on its own so i guess something balanced out but yeah there it is two new fish in the pond i think they're really gonna love it in here obviously a lot more room for them to swim around and they've got other goldfish and koi friends in here but now i'll see you guys back down in the fish room all right guys so now we're gonna go ahead and catch our platy out of the 55 and then all the guppies out of their 10 gallon and get them all into a bucket got them you know what I'm not gonna struggle with catching all these guys with a net. I'm just gonna drain this tank down to like here and then dump the tank into this bucket or I'll just bring the whole tank, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna drain the tank to a low point and then just pop it in the truck. That's what we'll do. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we are back over here at the house and we're gonna go right ahead and get these fish into the new turtle pond. And to do that, I'm going to dump all the water from this tank through this net. So that's what we're doing here. Go ahead, buddies. All right, and now into the pond they go. All 
Alrighty guys, all the fish are in the pond and it's actually really hard to see them from above. Most of the guppies are like right around this area. If you look real closely, you can probably see them. But yeah, those guppies are really hard to see and that is the main reason I'm gonna be buying more fish for this pond. Some more colorful ones like white, yellow, orange, colors that'll stick out in this pond. But we are gonna give these fish some time to get used to their new pond and we're actually gonna be buying the rest of the fish tomorrow morning and yeah, I'm super excited for that. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day, and real quick, before we go to the pet store to get our other fish, I'll just give you guys a quick look at the fish already in there. I mean, nothing really crazy going on with these guys. You can see our orange platy right there. I did feed these fish this morning, and they came up and ate immediately. And yeah, I'm definitely stoked to see a little more color swimming around in this pond. And with that being said, we're gonna head right on over to the pet store and see what we can find. Alrighty guys, so I just got back from the pet store and they had a decent amount of options for us, but I didn't really love anything other than this one thing I actually got. Let me just show you what we got. I ended up getting six platies. Two of them are really cool. They're white with like orange and red tails with like black speckles on them. And then I got four just all orange platies. Those should stick out really well in the pond. It's like a super bright orange as you can see. But then along with these guys, I did get a bamboo shrimp. I've had a couple of these in the past. They are super, super cool. Of course, you'll get a better look at him when he's in the 37 gallon tank that's where he's going and yeah i think i told you guys in a previous video that next time i saw one of these i'm getting them and there it is so we are going to go ahead and let these platies start acclimating to the turtle pond and i'm going to run that bamboo shrimp up to the 37 gallon tank to acclimate and then they'll be ready to go here in about 15 20 minutes so i'll see you then Alrighty guys, well these fish have now been acclimating for about 25 minutes they are ready to go into this pond so we are going to dump them into this net and get them on into the pond And yeah, you can definitely see them a lot better than those guppies. You can see one of our orange platies right there. And I didn't even realize how small they are. Oh, and here comes one of the white and orange ones. And I didn't get as many today as I would like to have in here. I want to be able to look at this pond and see just a bunch of colorful fish swimming all over the place. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for some cooler looking mollies, guppies, platies. And I'll just pick them up whenever I see them. But now we are going to head on upstairs to the 37 gallon tank and add our bamboo shrimp to it. Here is a look at him still in the bag acclimating. He's looking a little bit pale once he gets comfortable in here he'll darken up and be like a reddish brown but we are gonna go ahead and get him into this tank and I think I'm just gonna grab this guy and there he goes directly to the bottom you can see him right down here chilling these guys are super super cool again this isn't what their colors usually look like they're supposed to be way darker than this and it's really cool how these guys feed they have these little fans like where a crawfish would have claws these guys actually have like four fans that they use to catch particles out of the water which they then eat once he gets a little comfortable in here and starts feeding I'll definitely show you guys and yeah I'm very happy to have another bamboo shrimp and now before this video ends I do want to head back down to the fish room and just do a couple more things this right here is what I like like to call plastic sheeting. What it is is a 10 foot by 25 foot black plastic sheet. What are we going to use this for? Well, we're going to take this plastic sheeting and hang it from the ceiling all the way across here. Basically just to form a fake wall right here separating the fish room from the laundry room. I just want to be able to walk down these stairs, turn right, and see a room here. I don't know. I just think it'll look a lot cooler being its own little secluded area. So I'm just going to go right ahead and get this stuff hung up and yeah, I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys, and there it is. The wall is up. I'm definitely happy with how it looks. It does exactly what I wanted it to do, being make this look like more of a room instead of just a basement. I've still got a couple things to do with it, like I want to clean up this edge and maybe wrap it around this post, just to make this doorway look a little bit cleaner. I'll handle all that later though, but yeah. Here it is, you walk in and it looks like the fish room instead of the fish basement. And now the last thing I wanna do in this video is feed the new fish in the turtle pond. They are what this video is mainly about. So we're gonna drop in some food for them and see if we get any takers. Yep, you can see the guppies starting to come to the top. Oh, I see one of the platies coming up top. Is he gonna eat? Yes, sir. There it is. They've only been in here for less than an hour. Already eaten in the turtle pond. Oh, there's a couple of the orange platies. They are also munching. There's a third one. And look at that. That is exactly why I wanted fish in this turtle pond. Just brings so much more life and movement to it. And I am definitely happy with the result. So that is going to wrap up this video. And today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And I am going to see you in the next video.